Thank you, dog lover. Hello, welcome back to this game. We're doing a rerun. <laughs> trying to get a good ending. Again. I'm sure I'll find. Let's put those on the bathroom shelf. Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Another day, another day, another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Yeah, put stuff back in the wombs. Okay, fresh towels. There you go. Okay, no. Did I miss something in here? I should move on for now, but maybe I can come back later if I have a spare moment. It's locked. Fine. People don't usually leave these unlocked. Eugene. Throw pins. Open sesame? Nope. No luck. The way they look at each other. You can tell it's the real deal. Oh yeah, why were they breaking up with each uh, other? Wait. Did I remember to punch in this morning? Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. I don't know why they were breaking up. Locked. Just Linda? I get them. I've never seen two people more suited for each other. I hope they work things out. They need to. Yeah, what the fuck? In here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I know who the killer is. What's up, Scotch? Wanna just like steal the old f <laughs> I kinda do want to do that. I do want to do that, Scotch. Bitch. What did Linda do? And to whom? Okay, let's get rid of this. Make sure I don't forget to return it. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Yvette's and Susan's favorite activity talking behind other people's backs. I should have so many cups. To be tossed aside by your best friend like that? Special friend of heartbreak. This goes beyond constructive criticism. It's just a personal crusade. It's locked. Off limits. Hmm. Throw that away. Off limits. Fine. Keep your secrets, Locker. Mm. Me. Being recognized for doing a good job. That feeling never gets old. <laughs> Haven't gotten any tips so far today. It's locked. Open set. What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound mm, alright? That's I, awesome. Yeah, let's do it, Scotch. No, I guess not. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. I, I don't mean to disturb you, but did you see who wrote that message on Linda's door? What? The lipstick message. Do you know who wrote it? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sophie, go. Oh, did I throw away the lipstick? 
Oh no, I didn't get to be friends with Wendy. I really should give Wendy some space. Damn it! I messed up! If there's anyone to be in a book club with, it'd be Aunt Linda. You're not even trying to hide the daggers in your eyes. Yeah, I think you're right, Dad. Off limits. Can I reload? I really should give Wendy yeah. some space. I wanted to be friends with Wendy. Oh well. Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. Hey, Sophie. Oh, uh, hey, Andrew. On break already? Uh, no, no, not yet. I have to deliver something to our VIP guest. Again? Yeah, the requests just mm. keep on coming. What about you? Aren't you supposed to be in 509? I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Ah, gotcha. What a day, huh? Tending to an eccentric VIP guest. This is pretty exciting as- Yeah, that's not all. I was looking- You sure it's not the- No. It's when- What happened? I'm not completely sure- The graf- It's too work- Well, you'd have to be living under a rock to- Yeah. Remember, Bobby slipped her a slice of cake from the kitchen, and along came Linda to calm- I don't know how Wendy- If it had been- Yeah. Interpersonal conflict, you've mm. always been- No. I think- as in, I don't know if I'm... Well, if you... Thanks, Andrew. Well, it was nice to chat. <laughs> don't let me keep you, though. I have to head to maintenance no. anyway. Maybe Eugene can help me find the product our guest of honor is looking for. Yeah, we've both got a lot on our plates today. I'll be ready and waiting for your updates on H&M. No romance. Take care. You too. It's not my type. Five oh nine. Five oh nine. I do have five oh six next on my list. Should I pop in? Oh boy, someone's been living it up. Another fan of the gossiper. I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. Team that. Team that. Take the pillows. Clean. 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 Cool. Could this be the shoe from the chocolate fountain? <laughs> I can't wait to tell Andrew. <laughs> it is like a mystery, yeah. Clean. Cool. Um, I can throw that away. Just a balloon. Oops. It is. It is that is the combo name. All right, all clean. We did that. Okay, close that door. Cool. Throw that away. Huh. I do have 508 on my list, but disturb I won't. For now. Do 
threw her shoes on the nightstand. Eh, I'll come by in a bit. All right, let's look at everything. Work for poor okay. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. We'll do that. Sleeping on the couch. Expenses. Montreal. This person looking for you back in Texas. Was he really just a co-worker? Hmm. Oh, wow. See. You look like a couple out of a magazine. Not gonna throw that away. Looks like someone tore stuff in there. The Saint Joseph Oratory. Oh, you're from Montreal. Who's got her personal information stolen? Is Mr. Morgan behind it? But if I just don't answer the phone this time. Oh yeah, we never knew who placed the call. Oh, I didn't answer the phone. Maybe I should have. True for us. I will leave notes in the vent next to your ute. Your notes in the vent next to your room. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Andrew speaking. Hey, Andrew. It's me. Sophie. Did you uncover anything in 509? Sophie. I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. What? Awesome. Uh... Did you I crack miss it? Beth. It says, I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? What an odd thing to do. Yeah. And whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. Hmm. So the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think maybe one of them's having an affair? 
Well, what? I'm. Don't you find tries? Did you find anything else? Not um, well. Yeah. I've cleaned. Oh, I think. Good idea. It's almost. All right. Enjoy yes, your break. I did have Thanks, a good so idea. Thank you. Why did Cruz never get the note? Oh, the vent note? I don't know. Maybe she just wasn't able to get it out. No, it's not scary at all. No combination, no entry. <laughs> Can't open these without a screwdriver. Looks like plaster for the renovations. Better not play with it. You shouldn't have happened to go to the woman's locker room, did you? No. Why on earth would I go there? Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Oh, no one was fired. Oh. Ow, that was my foot. Oh, wow. Ew. Now's probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. I guess, yeah, I guess Linda is the one that actually wrote it. janitor's office I forgot uh, and then we'll realize there's nothing there and then we'll go elsewhere Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office. Sounds like Eugene asked Bernard to stop opposing the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. Oh, Eugene. I had no idea. Huh. This must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a... Shoot. No screwdriver. Oh. Another one. Wendy and Chuck have really gotten around. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Wait, hold on. Ita, can you make it today? Yes. Whenever I had a headache, I like getting hot tea. Maybe I shouldn't wander around with my pockets full. Oh yeah, I forgot. Is there anything I can put down? Yeah, I thought everyone could fuse the paper back together. What are you talking about? Gross. Guess he's done. Why is your head so weird? It's, uh, Miss Bellevent, isn't it? What? Oh, um, right. Oh, right. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Oh. Um. Yes, yes, I am. I am. Hmm. Don't take too long. No, okay. no, no, I won't. <clears throat> wow. 
What's going on? Oh, Andrew. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Seems I've made a habit of sneaking up on you today. Spying on Bernard again? No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Ah, gotcha. Eugene? What the... uh, I wonder if I sh you should go shouldn't clean it up. You know what? I'll I'll stand guard by the elevator and um holler if Bernard approaches. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. Um, um. Do I have to clean? Opposing something that could help so Enjoy many Enjoy the people. cold. Just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted prick. Hmm. Aha! Let's get you to that vent. This does not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. Ew. Ew. Is this Linda's? Anything else? I guess not. Do you remember that loose tile from last week? No. Well, uh, I'm afraid it hasn't been properly repaired. Good job, Eugene. You mean? I mean that, um, it's still broken, sir. Someone put a rug on top of it, but you can still hear it crack. I'm just checking to make sure guests don't trip over it. Uh, is, is that part of your job Why should you just stand there? Um, no. No, it isn't, sir. Well, then I suggest you stop worrying about Miss Bellivet. What were you doing in my office? I wasn't... I was I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Really? But that doesn't explain what you're doing on this floor. You know very well the cleaning staff isn't supposed to wander around the lobby for what no reason. What the frick? Reason. I... You wouldn't be lying to me, would you, Miss Bellivet? No. No, I swear, I... It's my fault, sir. Uh, I spilled my coffee, and so I asked Sophie to come clean it up. Your coffee? Did he say Mr. that last Rossi, time? You're not supposed to have beverages at the front desk. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <sighs> come with me. He being fired? Uh-oh. I got him in trouble. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I didn't lie twice. I should move on with the investigation. Can't have Andrew's sacrifice. Sorry, Andrew. Oh. God damn it! Jesus. Um, are you okay? Yes, yes. Uh, he tripped. Get tripped fucked, Bernard. It's fine. Uh, Enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted... What's that? Nothing. It's nothing. So, you wanted to talk to me? What? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, do you know how to use this? I do. A few years ago, I actually started writing the manuscript. Good. With my twisted wrist, I'll need your help to write some letters. Huh. Um, okay. What should I type? Dear Mr. Finch. Dear Mr. Finch. Your employment with the Clarington Hotel. Your employment. Your employment. Uh huh. Is terminated effective immediately. Is terminated. Wait. You're firing Eugene? Why? Is that any of your business? Uh, no. No, you're right. Is terminated effective immediately. You'll receive your final check by mail. 
Thank you for your years of service. Signed, Bernard Leduc. I know. Years of service. This is cool that they still have like all right. this extra dialogue. Um, I should probably get back to it. Not so fast. I need you to make a copy of this letter too. Oh. Um. Okay. I think he just continues to do this forever. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. It is kind of like first class trouble, isn't it? I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. Ew. Those away. Ew. Ew, what the fuck is that? Put the Bible elsewhere. <laughs> it again uh no wait this was m meet me tonight in my room michael will be Sleeping, we need to discuss Maybe our tonight plan. Tonight in my room, Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. It's me. Hey, you got anything good for me? Yeah, but I also wanted to... Oh. I hope I didn't get you. No, no. Oh? I might have been if it wasn't for that piece of paper Bernard hmm. found. I don't know what it said, but he forgot what he wanted. I guess that's better than a... It's all right. Anyway. I... F and? It says... Who's... I don't... Yeah. There's a... Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. Oh, Mike... That's really... So... Mrs. Beaumont. I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. How about I call up there? You know, to make sure no one's home. Okay. Good idea. Just a sec. Ready for your snooping, my lady. Thank you. He just so. belated me. 
I'll call you back. If it is hot in here. It's getting too hot for my boy, actually. Hi. Do I still have this on? He's a soup. Sophie is cute. Oh yeah, let's get rid of this. Um, what were we Looks doing? Like I'm headed to room five oh seven. Oh yeah. Missed this before. <laughs> you, Mr. Cruz, huh? Numbers, dates, times. Oh yeah, what did what this does mean? It all mean? Oh wait, I forgot. I wasn't supposed to clean. I guess it doesn't matter, huh? So you were eager to- Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I promise it's not you. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is much. So a husband can abuse his wife and just get away with it? And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong? Ugh. Aha. Keys are Snoop's best friend. few coins in my tip jar we're getting pretty low that look in your eyes what does it mean and who's this from oh i didn't mean to clean <laughs> what does that mean oh yeah we don't know what that means huh looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face mr beaumont and I missed the rings last time. He's all but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. Is there stuff in here? I should wait till I have more to report before calling Andrew. <laughs> Bernard needs that Bible. I agree. Um, oh yeah, where's my cart?
Another day, and I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Desk. Andrew speaking. We're almost there. Hey, Andrew. Sophie, crazy timing. I've got something for you. Oh, what is it? I heard a certain Mr. Cruz and a Mr. Morgan had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who told you that? Jacques did. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And it sounds like we were on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Can you guess what it is? Affair? Exactly. Hmm. How bad was the fight? I think Jacques got in the middle of it before it got too intense. But he said Mr. Cruz looked like he was about to kill Mr. Morgan. Hmm. So Mrs. Cruz must be having an affair with him, right? And her husband found out? Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I know, it's not Calabunga. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. What about the second one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as I a I want to get Riga out. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that open a chest with two locks? Okay, there's definitely something going on between them. I think Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Beaumont might be the ones having the affair. Really? Well, it is the 1950s after all. <laughs> I guess anything's possible. Did you find any clues that might support this? Nothing concrete. I mean, I did find a letter that suggests they may have gone to college together, but they could just as well be good friends, right? Yeah, that's probably more likely. I guess we'd know for sure if we could have a look at that chest, but... I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, probably. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, if you get me a candle and some plaster, I may be able to do something about that chest. How? I'll tell you later, okay? Just find those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I can. All right. Thank you for not giving up. I would never give up on you. Sorry, one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Had to do stuff for Lethal Company later. What are we doing? Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. So how does he know how to do plaster and candle here. stuff? Anonymous, I'm gifting a sub to Pyroblade. This takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles... Doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? Oh, hi, honey. You coming out? This 
Andrew. <laughs> Figures that if you were going to break any rules, it'd be the ones about which book. What happened to you before you came to Montreal? Why don't you want to go back home? Mmm, a little ravioli. Gosh, I hardly recognized you. Guess this is from a different lifetime. What's this? Hmm. Tempting, but mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. I'm not the one who should be apologizing. So why is Jacques being yeah, weird? Wait. Why are they what? breaking up? I don't understand. I want my mother's ring back. There. I don't want it anyway. I don't know why. I don't understand. Hold on to these tight. Syracuse. I guess Andrew went there on a holiday or something. This must be Andrew's current read. Or one of them, anyway. Now, what next? Hello, honey. Hi, Rika. You're okay. You're okay, honey. There you are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, I remember reading a spy novel. I can't remember the title. It wasn't that good. In which they used wax and plaster to make a key mold. I'm thinking we could do the same. Are you sure it's gonna work? Sure, no. I miss In Beth the novel, too. they used a special kind of wax, not candle wax. But I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this, shall we? Nope, lethal company is in about an hour. First step, um, pour the wax, I suppose? Uh, careful, though. The pot's probably hot. That's it. Nicely done. Better next step, put the key Hold in on. the wax, right? That's not what's next. Looks Follow good. The Pretty sure Sophie. you can take it. I think we're almost done. Hold on. All that's left that's is not what's next. to pour the <laughs> plaster from the cup into the mold. Really confusing. Good job. So now we wait until it's dry, I guess. How long do you think it's gonna take? A few minutes, probably. We can poke it every now and then to check. I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? Uh, <laughs> no. But I like it. I feel like I'm in one of those novels I spend my days reading. Have you ever read banned books? 
What do you mean? You know, books banned by the church. I have played I this heard, before. Um, Copernicus is a pretty interesting read. Huh. Uh, More funny you should say run. that. It's on my list, actually. Although I can confirm it takes a more scientific mind than mine to enjoy it. I suppose there's a reason why those books are illegal, right? Well, the church did persecute Galileo for saying the Earth revolved around the sun, mm -hmm. and not the other way around. Girl, so, so, even pretty. as a man of the cloth, I don't mind saying their judgment isn't always the best. A man of the cloth? Wait, you're a priest? Technically, no. I've gone through most of the classes, but I left the seminary before taking holy orders. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, I think you're the first person here that I've told. I really can't imagine you in robes. Actually, I can't imagine you in anything but this uniform. Yeah, I guess we've never seen each other outside of work, huh? Maybe we should grab a coffee one day? I could tell you all about the exciting things that happened at the seminary. As a friend, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to be rude, but I like it. Sounds interesting, and like we could just meet up as friends. Also, she is trying to fit her entire self in my pocket, and she's not doing a great job. But she's trying really hard to be in my pocket right now. You're not a little baby anymore, but if you're, if you're happy with this. <laughs> I do need a bigger pocket. Yeah, I think Okay, I we're that. just gonna awesome. see just a little bit. Um, the, the corner just, cafe we'll is a little not too far bit. from here. Why don't we meet after work one of these evenings? That sounds great. Oh, look, I think our key double is dry and ready to go. I can't believe it worked. I could not have done this without you. Well, I'm glad I was able to be of some help. I should get back upstairs, though. I've been gone far too long already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and you should probably be careful when you turn it. Otherwise, it could break inside the lock. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thank I you for I should do everything. that. <laughs> You're welcome, Sophie. <laughs> All right. Let me put this key back. I can't believe you came to do something like that. He's worked with us for years. He's always been loyal. Is there, is there anything you might have said or done to anger him? What are you saying? That I deserved it? No, no, of course not. All I need to say is that maybe from his perspective... Christopher Roy, thank you for the 24 months. What are you going to do now? Uh, fire him, no. I've already had Andrew type his termination. Oh. Uh. Now I've got to find him a replacement. Oh, let me help you with that. I read an ad. If he calls soon, I'm pretty sure we can get it in tomorrow's month. Damn. Uh, all right. I'll just uh, sit here for a while until my office line. Uh, Damn, I fucked up. Do you need more ice for you here? No, no. I mean, but if we remove the paper, then Bernard doesn't realize the error of his ways either, you know? So, I don't know. And he thinks there's no opposition. Perfect run is gonna be difficult. 
I've got two keys. Now, let's test them out. What happens if I leave the gun? Be careful, Sophie. You don't want this key to break. Unlike my favorite bar, this one is black. Huh. Marcella invited you to the movies. Let me guess. You said yes. This is called This Bed We Made. No combination, no entry. Hmm. Bridget Boswell, it's actually you, Marcella? Oh, Anne, I do like a happy ending. I just, oh, so you came to Montreal after all this, turns out you're a fan of Bridget and advance on my salary. So, Marcella. So this was all a story about star-crossed lovers, with the lovers in question being Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz. Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Actually, I think I can help with that. Really? How? Well, some mail just arrived here for Mrs. Beaumont. You've opened it, right? What? <laughs> of course not. I mean, it's illegal. Aren't you intrigued? Of course. I can't just... Uh... Oh, 5G right, right. sucks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I am a bad influence on you. Well, you've been doing I'm all the so far. It's about time I take a little risk too. I wish so, you would trust me what's in it? It's a tourism pamphlet for California. I want you to eat, honey. Three train tickets. Hmm. It is a needle What do you think style. this means? I'd say... It those train tickets much. So you're on. Well. Yeah. Turns out she, is. she writes. I think. I get it, but. Well, probably. I was. <laughs> that it. Oh. Why you piecing together people's stories? Learning. You're what right. Makes, yeah. I'm. Would you come and see me when your shift ends? We could leave together if you'd like. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. We could set up a pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. They're actual. I'm not gonna here. woo Andrew. Oh, He's I not my type. Be sleeping. I've got a reading list the size of the Eiffel Tower. This would be the perfect chance to put a dent in it. That does sound like fun. I could bring my magazines and, ooh, maybe light some of Rebecca's candles. Now I kind of hope we do get stuck here. <laughs> I just have to finish my tasks for the day and then I can leave. All right, time to clean up the stuff. And throw this away and throw that away. Okay. Yes, throw out the lesbian evidence. I think I've already thrown it out. We gotta throw away the other stuff too. Throw away, throw away. Oops.
Okay, how do we get the other, um... That's right. Oh, you wanna go up there? You wanna go up there, honey? Nope, you don't wanna go up there anymore. Why do you throw stuff away? Because I know how this ends. this on him is this about paul does that mean just stop for a second sophie is there anything okay let's get rid of this stuff oh the hanging stuff is gone Throw this away. Throw this away. Throw this away. Throw this away. What could happen? I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing. We don't want nothing. What was the thing? Here we go, throw that away. Throw that away. I think I can replace the bulb, no. That's okay, that's, I don't think that part matters. He's definitely here somewhere. be able to. Oh, should I hold on to this, maybe? No one needs to know. Nobody needs to know. Riga just fell. I don't want to throw me a camera, but oh god, why did that make a louder noise? What the hell? Riga, there you are, too. Let go, please. There you go. 
Let go of my phone cable. There you go. This will be on the YouTubes. Yeah, it was photo development fluids. Is there no way to... This can wait. throw away the string map. I'll try though. Oh, I can. I can throw away. Store power. That worked, thank God. Now, to get the power back. Uh, this one was A. Hey. end up here. Twenty three forty two. What was the rest of it? Twenty three forty two. Can I keep this here? Hmm. 
I don't know how I can get them to be the real killer. Hello? I... I need help. Hello? Is anyone in? Oh, I might have my thingies on it, yeah. You're not wrong. Maybe I should throw it away. Hmm. Well, let's let's see what happens. Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be able to come. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the gun's not the murder weapon. Oh, can I put the ice pick back? Maybe I should have put the ice pick back. We can try next run, I guess. We'll just have to see what happens. Dude, they don't even know what fingerprints are. Hello. Police service, station 22. Oh, there's a there's a man dead. He's been murdered. I I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? The lobby. But the body, it's it's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um 1178 11 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, you're here. I've tried restoring the power, but I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I... Sophie? Don't worry, I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, you look a bit pale. Is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. He's back? Uh, how's he taking that whole thing with his wife? You don't understand. I found his body. He's... He's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need, you need to sit down, huh? You're a good girl. Did you call the police? Yeah, they're... They're on their way. What happened? Was he sick or something? No, I don't think so. Someone... 1921. Did this to him. Hmm. You mean... <sighs> Jesus. Do Oops, you think it could be Paul? Boop. No. What about Anne and Marcella? Their affair is a pretty good motive. I also found a letter from one of Hector's customers. He seemed really angry. I guess it could be him as well. Hmm. The police will want to ask you a you lot of questions. You can check inside the ice machine? You may want to be careful about what you tell them. With Paul's history of mental illness, there's a good chance they'll suspect him even if he didn't do it. I think I know what you mean. Some people seem to assume that spending time in a psychiatric hospital means you're a murderous psychopath. Yeah, they really do. You know how I said I studied to become a priest, but never took my orders? That's because I... I felt so lost. Aw, he was depressed. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed, so I 
ended up going to a psychiatric hospital. When your hospital. wife cleaned rooms, and did she ever doctors, like look through people's belongings? They helped me get back on my feet. Because that's what this but whole to my game is about: solving a, a murder like by looking through people's belongings. Stranger. <laughs> my mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear people were changing sidewalks when they saw no. me, Aww. looking at me as if, as if I was this dangerous creature all of a sudden. That's why I didn't tell you that... What? Call it coincidence or fate, but that psychiatric hospital, it's the same one Paul went to. I've met him there. Aw. Talked to him a bit. I'm sorry I didn't say anything before. It's okay. I get why you didn't. You do? You know how I tell everyone that my mom's sick, bedridden. Well, it's true. Oh, that's fair, crazy. Bro. I always leave out the part about her illness not being physical. I'm ashamed of the truth. So even though I don't know exactly what you went through, I, I can understand. Thank you for telling me. I know it's not an easy thing to talk about but if you ever want to talk about your mom i'm here oh mm. that's nice they're here promise me you'll be careful with the information you share hmm? yeah yeah of course He was nicer looking. Like he's a nice guy, but I wish he didn't look like a dork. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Oh, sorry. I was. I do like that way more. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when... That's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Well, Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. So... What did you do after that? Well... Um... That's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? <sighs> no, I didn't. Only Eugene does. I'm sorry, honey. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick, so I went to the ice machine to get one. Hmm. You're a size seven, I suppose. Um, yes, I am. Why? What did you see when you went to the ice machine? There was blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? I might have touched a few things. Just to figure out what had happened to Mr. Cruz. Of course you did. Why so many witnesses can't help but compromise the evidence is just beyond me. <sighs> anyway, what did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. 
Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No, I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? Um... Well, this one. I know about Mr. Cruz's angry customer. The one who sent him death threats. Oh, yes, we found those. But the customer in question lives back in Texas, so there's no way he could have killed Mr. Cruz. He doesn't anyway, live in Texas. How do you even know about that? He's not in Texas! Mr. Cruz told me the other day. <laughs> really? Was he in the habit of talking about his personal life with hotel maids? Um, I <laughs> really People don't can't leave the say evidence what his <laughs> habits true. were, but he... He seemed to like me. Did he now? Here's what I think, Miss Roy. I think you went through Mr. Cruz's belongings no, while you were cleaning his room. I know that's a little hobby of yours. Ah, uh, how would you know that? Safes left wide open. Makeshift keys left inside of Fuck, box. I left the thing. You haven't exactly been Fuck. subtle about it. <laughs> I forgot to Have leave you? it in there. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to take now, it. Unless you want me to arrest you for violating your guest's <laughs> privacy, <laughs> I suggest you tell me everything you know. I all thought right. I got rid of it all. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me about him? I... He seems nice, though. You wouldn't be... No. Hmm. The victim's wife. What can you... I don't only... The... Hmm. Both Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz are prime suspects. It's almost as if... I um, really... Because if I'm no. right... No. That would... But hey. Um... <laughs> Oh. Well, did I clean up too much? Oh, sorry, honey. Bernard sounded really dejected on the phone. Time to see what that's about, I guess. atmosphere is so different in here. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. I'll go empty my locker. Andrew! Oh no! Uh, hey! Are you okay? Um, I've... I've just been fired. What? No, I... It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come in. Mm, what happened? So. I would... Well, as we've been mocked and ridden, and that's not even the worst of it. With a story, if ever. I may have no choice. Just... It's clear now that we're... Which means... I suppose. Yes. I mean, not you. From what mm. I've heard... I take my... As you... We'll see for the future. Thank you. I'm not... The police... Have... You want me to... Yes. I found... I'll make this... Good. Let's see what happens. Maybe oh, we'll find more stuff. For? Oh. Yes. That'll be all. Oh, I guess I don't actually have to clean. Hey. Hey. What a week. You don't say. So what did Bernard want with you? He wants me to... He does? After every... Yeah. I... It's okay. To... Oh, um... Well, he told me... I said I couldn't handle... 
Uh -oh. With his new budget cuts, I think it just makes so much sense. My, my mom likes to plus. Yeah. I'm. Me too. I. Oh. I. I don't. Hmm. One, one day. I really... it... Hey, it's that detective. Uh oh. What's he doing here? Let's not make a scene, all right? A scene? What's going on? Andrew, it's okay. I warned you where obstruction of justice would get you, Miss Roy. So here we are. You're under arrest. Ah! What? Th th this is nonsense. What are you doing? Y you can't just... You can't... They can't just... I clean too much. I'm too good at my job! Ah! doing doing movie stuff Aww. we got to visit Lindsay okay, we saw this one am I gonna show up in prison <laughs> to get them to know who the killer is new management all are welcome Aww. yeah fuck you bernard oh fuck Okay, did I... Is this after I cleaned a bunch? Okay, we'll close this. I can't believe I forgot about the keys. God damn it. Okay, can I close this? How do I take the close that? Put that back. Okay. Did I already clean up all this shit? Okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Throw the gun? I mean, maybe you should leave the gun. Can't look inside. Oh, what was this? Oh, so Paul's work with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator to help her with research for her novel. Go down away.
Can I put the ice pick back? What am I missing? Oh yeah, I left the safe open last time, that's why. Hello? Is anyone in? Can I place the weapon in 504? have the fake key. Is it really? Okay, which room is it, Joyce? Like, I know it's this guy. What have I missed? It's in five oh nine. I mean, there's a thing about the family. Can't move stuff. Oh yeah, SW. How do I look at how do I look at it closely though? SW. It is on the note next to the gun. Bodies of a woman and three children. Three children. Oh, I guess I did it. I was, I was supposed to zoom in on it. God damn it. <laughs> da -da, of course, 504. Is this enough? Is that going to allow me to say what I need to say? Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be... I'm sorry. I did I'm not. Sorry. I don't so think I can check the save. It's okay. Uh, if I need to redo it, I'll just load my save back up.
Montreal Police Service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please stay calm, Pam. Where are you right now? The lobby. But the body, it's... It's upstairs. Wait, did I say he was murdered? Address, please. Oh, um... 11... 1178 Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. I Thank did, you. okay. I missed it. Why does the VIP want to meet with Paul? Maybe he fell for his role playing and wants to hire him as a private investigator. Oh, interesting. Is this the brochure Andrew was talking about? No. So Anne and Marcella really are planning to run off together. Was what happened to Hector part of their plan? Wellington. He. Okay, so the director likes Paul. Wants him to be a movie star. Hey, you're here. I've tried restoring the power, but I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I... Sophie? Don't worry. I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, <sighs> you look a bit pale. Is everything okay? Ugh. I'm Mr. Cruz. Hector. He's back? Uh, how's he taking that whole thing with his wife? You don't understand. I found he's his dead. body. He's... He's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need, you need to sit down, huh? Okay, I didn't tamper. I tampered with a lot. But we'll see, we'll see. Did you call the police? Yeah. What? Did you... What if I... The... I... Yeah. You know how I said I studied to become a priest, but never took my orders? Yada, 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 That's... yada, 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 I... yada. I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed. Blah blah so blah! I come on, ended come up on! Going to a psychiatric hospital. Over and here. The doctors, they helped me get back on my feet. But when I returned to my hometown, it was like I had become a complete stranger. My mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear, people were changing sidewalks when they saw me, looking at me as if, as if I was this dangerous creature all of a sudden that's why i didn't tell you that what call it coincidence or fate but that psychiatric hospital it's the same one paul went to i've met him there talked to him a bit i'm sorry i didn't say anything before it's okay you do you know how i tell well i'm thank i know it they're here. Promise me you'll be careful with the information you share. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy! Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I yeah, don't. I'm cute. I want to know the perfect so, route, too. as I was saying, 
We're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring. Again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors. So I went out in the corridor. And that's when... That's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? Well... Really? Oh, this... I... Huh. What did you do after that? Well, um... That's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box? Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? No, but I... Uh, hmm. There was... Did you... I... Uh, Okay. What did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? Um, well, no, oh. actually, I yes. think he may be staying at the hotel. Have you encountered him? No, no. In room 504, there's a guest who seems to be traveling alone. Yet, he has these three teddy bears in his room. Mr. Cruz's customer lost his three children in a fire, and these bears are slightly burnt. So... Hmm, an interesting deduction. I'll look into that. But how do you even know about the death threats? Should I just say I've been snooping? I don't think I've left any evidence. We'll say Mr. Cruz Mr. Chris told, told me the other day. <laughs> really? Was he in the habit of talking about his personal life with hotel maids? Um, I really can't say what his habits were, but he... He seemed to like me. Hmm. Then maybe you'll be able to answer one or two of my questions. Uh -oh. I'll do my best. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. Oh, he's not mad. What can you tell me about him? I... I don't really know anything about him. He seems nice, though. You wouldn't be trying to protect him, would you, Miss Roy? Because that could land you in jail. No. No, I'm not. Hmm. Let's try something else, then. The victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently, she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? I don't know much. Only that she looks like a loving, caring wife. Does she? Hmm. It's very... odd. Both Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz are prime suspects in this case, and yet, we have very little evidence no! on either of them. It's almost as if someone has cleaned up after them. I really hope I'm wrong, though. Because if I'm right, that would be obstruction of justice, and the people, or person, responsible could face very serious consequences. But hey... I guess we'll know soon enough. Maybe it's okay? Maybe it'll be fine? Yeah, maybe they found the real killer, so they don't care. Maybe they don't care! This is fine. Bernard sounded really... Dejected on the phone. The atmosphere is so different in here. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. It was slightly different, yes, but he didn't seem as aggro about it, so maybe it's okay. We'll see. I knew I cleaned up too much. 
I'll go empty my locker. Andrew. Uh, hey. Are you okay? Do they always get um, fired? I've... I've just been fired. What? No, I... It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, come in. So, uh, well, uh, we be, if I'm just, if which, I, yes, I do. As, we, thank you. I'm the police. Yeah, I I'm a, I, good. Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully it's enough. I have to play soon. It's almost time to play. Hey. Hey. What a week. You don't say. So what did Bernard want with you? He wants he to. He it's to. Oh, I. With his new. Well, yeah. I think. <laughs> it, it just makes. My mother's. Yeah. I'm. Me. I <laughs> uh oh. Hey, it's that detective. Maybe What's it's not me. Maybe it's the other guy. Maybe it's not me. God damn it! It's still me! Let's not make a scene, alright? A scene? What's going on? Andrew, it's okay. I warned you where obstruction of justice would get you. But we you, you got the bad guys! So here we are. You're under I helped! Arrest. What? Th th this is nonsense. What are you doing? Y you can't just... You can't... They can't just... Aww. I think we did it, though. We got the real guy. We'll do the perfect run. We gotta do the perfect run. And not today. <laughs> do we need more evidence? They are so pretty. I know. What the hell is? But who is that? I don't want to hug him. This is the same ending. I mean, we got the culprit, but I still got freaked for cleaning too much, which I really did. I cleaned a little too much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Maybe we'll try one more time later and get the perfect ending. All right, bye-bye.